Okay, so here's how I optimize my images before I bring them into Adobe Captivate. So the very first thing we do is we're going to right click on the stock photography image that we've downloaded from our favorite stock photography site. We're going to open it with Photoshop. And the very first thing we're going to do is consider the size of our e-learning project. So for example, uh, a default non-responsive design e-learning project in Adobe Captivate is 1024 by 627. So the very first thing we're going to do is click on the image drop down menu and select image size. And here we can see that this image is 5,568 pixels by 3,684 pixels. If you don't see pixels here, you can just change the measurement drop down here. So it could be in percentage or inches or centimeters. Make sure it says pixels and that's going to be the most relevant example. So what I typically do is I'll type in the height first. I know my target height is 627. So we'll type in 627, but you'll see that my width isn't large enough to cover 1024. So in this case here, we're going to choose 1024. I'll type that into the width here. And this is a little bit larger, but that's okay. The next step will crop out anything we don't need. Um, and we'll click OK and it will resize down to, uh, in this case, about one fifth of the original size which is okay. We can, of course, zoom in and get a, a better view of this uh, item here. Now, uh, it's the wrong aspect ratio because again, it's 678 instead of 622 height, or sorry, 627 height. So instead of choosing image size, we're now going to select canvas size, and that's going to open up the canvas size window. And we're just going to type in 627, which is the size of a typical Captivate project there. So we'll go ahead and click OK. Keep in mind, you could anchor to different sizes. So if you want to make sure that we're not cropping too much off of the bottom, you could select at the top here, or sorry, at the bottom here. And if you want to make sure we're not cropping too much off the top, actually, this is a good choice for this particular image here. So we'll go ahead and click OK, and it'll clip a little bit you'll see this warning here the new canvas size is smaller than your current canvas size some clipping will occur we know that so we're going to go ahead and proceed and it cut a little bit off the top there perfect this will fit perfectly fine on my project now this is a compressed file already but we don't need to go with uh you know in this case a hundred percent optimization you could get away with a lot less so we'll do file and we'll export as and this will open up the export as window so jpeg is good we can drop the quality down probably even go as low as 75 percent uh because you know the this is not text if you were doing text images, you'd probably want to export them as PNGs. And we have our resolution already in place here. And uh, we can just click export and save that. In this case, we'll save it to our desktop here along with the original. I'll just put a little underscore O for optimize there so we don't confuse the two. And we now have a copy of the same image. Now let's go here and first of all, look at the original file. I'm going to right click on this and hit properties. And you can see here that it's an 11 megabyte file. So we often think of 11 megabytes as being relatively small. But of course, if you have 100 such images in um, an e-learning course, you're going to have quite a few megabytes in this course. Let's take a look at the properties of the now optimized version here that will perfectly fit on the slide. We've gone from 11.5 megabytes down to a measly 149 kilobytes. It's a fraction of the size. And of course, that means your course is going to run faster. That means your, your slides are going to load quicker 
and you're going to provide your learners an overall better experience. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.